Hello, I found out that Raycast hit is a bit problematic for some of you and I decided to make this quick video just to show you how it can be done in an easy way. I've got few objects in the background so we are going to shoot it and I've got my player built of some cubes and the little cube is the gun and we've got some gun aim at the end of it. So let's get into it i will just create some script i call it raycasting create an ad and once it's created we can open it in visual studio for example okay so whenever we're going to deal with raycasting we actually need two variables the raycast is the first one and the ray is the other one so let's create the ray first call it ray and then we are going to use raycast hit and let's call it just hit like so we are going to uh, hit something based on our mouse position so in order to do it we need to get the camera as well so i will create the camera cam variable as well and now we'll assign main camera to it so camera and main we want to do it in the start method instead of the update because it's better just for the you know it's it's better when it comes to uh, performance okay so let's go to update and in the update we have to specify the ray so ray is our camera and we change screen point to ray yes that's the one we want to use and here we use input and mouse position and voila okay so now in the if statement we want to check if we hit something actually so let's put if and now we are using physics physics and now raycast yes that's the one we want to use ray and now we want to get out our hit so that we can get some information in this variable and let's specify 100 so this will be a length of our uh, ray and if we hit something actually we want to print this object's name in the console just for now so let's print and now we will hold all the information in the hit variable and now we can just call it transform and name okay so we can save it and let's go back to unity i will press play and that should be working actually let me go to console let me scroll down and now we have a sphere we have a cylinder i didn't click on it so that's why it didn't work now capsule and the cube capsule cylinder and the sphere so yeah this is working so the ray is pointing at our objects and when I, you see if i don't hit on anything nothing is being displayed in the console only when we are hovering off on the objects okay so our raycast is working and as you can see there's only a few lines of code to it actually if we didn't really want to we could get rid of those stuff and just do everything in the update but it is not recommended really so we've got it and maybe now we would like to destroy these objects on mouse click so whenever i left click on this object it will get removed so we have to we can do it when the ray actually hit the object so it will be inside this if statement so now instead of printing the object name we want to check for the left mouse click so if input get mouse button down and i will use zero so it's the left mouse button and now if we click on it we want to destroy so destroy hit and now transform and let's put game object okay that should be working let me go back to unity and press play now i will hover over it so you can see that there is no messages but if i click 
click, 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 and they all gone. So as you can see, this is working pretty well. That's fine, but I think that in the end we would like to have some line showing up our um, ray, but actually this is not going to show exactly our ray, but it will simulate like the laser beam from our uh, pistol or the gun. So let's do it. In order to do it, we have to add the component line renderer. So I'll just add component and type line renderer. As you can see, we've got something visible already. Maybe we can slide it down to have it smaller like so. And now we have to change its position. So as you can see, if I expand positions, we have zero and one. So this is like a starting point and the end point. If I change this X, I will put five. So you can see that zero is our starting point. So we are going to use our aim position and the hit point wherever we are going to hit. So let's go back to the code and we will need some more variables. This time we'll add serialize field because we want to use our transform and aim, maybe gun aim. And now we want to add our line renderer like so and let's call it line renderer. Save it and I will go further to the update method. And when we want to show our line only when we hit something. So it will be inside of this if statement. So let's put a line renderer. Let me see how I call it line without this I. I will copy it and paste it there. So we want to enable it. That's the first thing. Let's put it on true. And then we want to change it position. So line rent set position. We want to set the position with index zero and we want to set it on hit point or gun, uh, gun aim point. I put it on gun aim position, transform position and let me duplicate it and here we change it to one and we want to use our hit point like so. Okay, that should be it. Let me, let me maybe disable our line when we don't hit anything. So else, and here we will just put line rent enabled and assign a false value to it. So let's save it, go back to Unity. I will clear our console, click on our player because we have some stuff to add. And yes, in our script, we need to add gun aim and line renderer. So like, so I will press play. And now when I hover over some object, you can see that the line is being created. If I don't hover over anything, there is no line. Okay, this is working fine. And if you don't like this pink color, we can go to line renderer and change the color of it. Maybe I will put some blue one. And at the end, maybe we put like the, maybe not really, maybe something like that just to show you how it's being done. And I will change the material to use this default line maybe. And I will save it, press play. And now, as you can see, we've got the blue line coming out. So of course, there are plenty of stuff we can do with it. We, there is more we can change, make it better. But this is a good start, so you can see how it's being done and how it can be improved. Okay, thank you and see you in the next one.